whose voice was the origin, breath and life within sound. Hey, welcome to the pre-gathering. My name is Micah and we're so glad that you're here. The pre-gathering segment is an opportunity for you to connect with us, to pray with us, and find ways to give. More importantly, this is an opportunity for you to get to know the Crosspoint community, to discuss subjects of faith, spirituality, and Jesus. We do this by sharing stories with you and some exclusive content that I think you'll love. The worship gathering will begin shortly. Have a great day. Whose blood was the covenant, Son of God and Son of Man? Your tears ran down Gethsemane, still your plan called for a crown. We're singing
long history of worship. Whether it's Buddha or Beyonce, Krishna or the Kardashians, John Lennon, Jesus, or the latest shiny device with a blue light screen, it seems that we all have a desire to adore, a magnetic pull towards the transcendent. So what is worship? When broken down, the word worship literally means worth-ship, worthiness, acknowledgement of worth. It's easy to assume that worship is something limited to Christians singing songs, Muslims on a pilgrimage, or Zen Buddhist monks meditating in mystical temples. But the truth is, we all ascribe worth to something. Our car, our personal appearance, celebrity culture, our favorite brands. When you really break it down, we are all worshipers. The only real question is, what are you worshiping? And is it really worth your worthship? Historically, people would worship the king of the land. If they were a good king, they were worthy of worship because they provided protection, governance, and life and prosperity to the people of their kingdom. People ascribed worth to the king's authority because they trusted the goodness of the king and were thankful for the peace and well-being that was provided living under his rule. In this sense, the opposite of worship could be described as mutiny. Mutiny, by definition, is an open rebellion against the proper authorities a revolution, an uprising, a resistance. What we're really talking about here is that worship and mutiny aren't merely actions, but are actually positions of the heart. Worship is a heart of gratitude that gives worth. Mutiny is a heart of rebellion that withholds worth. This leads us to the core of what it means for us to worship. You see, God designed the human heart with a will authorized with the power of choice to choose what we worship either to worship God because we trust His goodness and the life and well-being that He provides, or to rebel and decide for ourselves what will bring us life and well-being. And as history and human experience tells us, we choose mutiny. The Bible says we exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator. Put simply, if life had a control seat, we kicked God off. Who, me? and ultimately sat in it ourselves. But to worship God is exactly the opposite. It is to humble everything about ourselves and honor everything about Him. That's the way we were designed. That's what makes us come alive. Jesus is worthy of our worship. He created us and loves us unconditionally. He chose to die on the cross to take the penalty of death that we deserved because of our choices. He came alive again, and with Him in the control seat of our life, we experienced the best life we were designed to live. It's worth weighing up what you worship and whether it's giving you life or stealing your life. You don't have to worship Jesus. He's like a gentleman, and so He'll never force you to. That choice is yours. Hey, and welcome back. The worship gathering will begin in about five minutes. During the worship gathering, here's what you can expect. We're gonna sing some songs together. We're gonna pray together. And we're gonna hear a relevant gospel message. Now, if you're here today and you're looking for a way to give, you can visit the crosspointchurch.ca slash give. Or you can visit some of the donation boxes at the back of the room or in the campus lobby. Now, let's prepare to worship together. 